In this live self-defense training video, you're gonna learn how to end the fight in seconds, how to use elbows in self-defense. It's all about elbows. I wanna talk about when you have no other choice, it's bigger opponent, multiple attackers, you have to close with and destroy, you have to be immediate, direct, explosive. You have to start in a posture of self-defense. You're gonna get your hands up between you and the threat, and I want you to drive the elbow first. This is the first thing I want you to practice, is driving an elbow straight in to stop their forward advance. When you have no other choice, you have to defend yourself, drive the elbow, bringing the hand here, supports the head, the face. If they have a slashing weapon, that's going to be give, giving you some protection here. You're gonna block here instead of letting them slice you up here. So this comes first. This is on here second. You're driving in with one. The second kind of elbow strike that I wanna see you practice is coming forward in this horizontal strike. So if this is the face of the bad guy, you're gonna close the distance, put your helmet on, and then you're gonna drive this second elbow forward. So you can practice your hands are up and open between you and the threat. Use a verbal command, back up, stay back, stop, whatever you have to say. They don't stop, they're closing the distance, or you see them pull a weapon. You drive this immediately closing the distance. Close the distance, close with and destroy. Drive this elbow coming straight forward. It's a thrusting motion with the tip of this elbow coming into the nose, into the teeth, the throat, into the solar plexus. From here, the second one comes forward. Hello, Awkward the Cat. We're using elbows to end the fight in seconds. How to fight with elbows in self-defense. So this is the first one. You can bring it forward with either hand. And again, when you put your hand here, you put your helmet on, put your helmet on, you put your hand here, you're supporting the neck and the head. So if you do take some strikes, you do get hit, you have a shock absorber here. If they have a slashing weapon, they're hitting here and not here. You're not recoiling, they're not slicing you up here. You might get cut, but you're gonna defend yourself. Hello, Matthew. Drive here and then practice these horizontal elbows. They're very powerful. Again, if we say this is the threat, I bring this in here, close the distance, and then notice that I bring my hand to keep this distance between me and him. I'm driving this elbow forward. I can bring both in. You want more strength, grab your hand and drive your elbows at the same time. Now, the next kind of elbow strike I wanna see you practice is one that comes up and down over the top. From here, coming down, driving into the face. So you have elbow forward, horizontal, and then striking down at the angle. And there's more. You wanna take that first elbow that comes to the face and you're gonna use it to come into the solar plexus or up under the chin. So this hand here that comes forward can either be driving into the face or coming up this way and moving your body by stepping with your feet. Your feet move you forward. If we find the mirror behind me here, you can see, put the helmet on, turn the shoulders and hips horizontal, bringing it down, this angle coming down over the top, coming down over the top, and then just coming straight forward. See how your feet are moving in? So if you're here, you close that distance, you drive it up and in, drive it up and in, and then think about bringing your hand up and down on top, on top like this. If you're on your back, they've knocked you down, you're in what's called the clinch, or they're on the mount, they're on top of you, and you're trying to cover yourself here, you can bring your hand up and drive it down this way. You can also do that from a standing position. Maybe he's trying to tackle, or he's on top of you. You have to bring your hand up and drive it down. These muscles here are very strong on you, and you're gonna be able to create a lot of power here. Now let's imagine he's right behind you. Your hands come up, and you're turning your whole body is driving all the force, the weight of your body into his face. Again, pick up my feet in the mirror there. You can see I'm stepping in, stepping in. You turn your head, you see it out of the corner of your eye, and you drive into his jaw, into his temple, into his neck, into his arm, into his ribs. Break the ribs, send him right through his lungs, coughing up blood for self-defense. But it's the turn, he's behind you, you have to immediately close with and destroy. This also works coming down, down and in. He's behind you, driving down this way. So for review, uh, James, good to see you. Yeah, I just wanna make a really quick one. This is for Studer. Studer, thanks for your question. Studer was talking about elbows. Doug, it's good to see you. Um, oh, cool, yeah, Doug said a couple of officers admire shillelagh today. 
Shillelagh is such a great fighting weapon, Irish fighting weapon. So from here, put your helmet on, especially if they have a weapon, you don't know what else to do. Close with and destroy. Close the gap, go in instead of going back. From here, driving the elbows to the side, horizontal elbow strikes. They can be to the temple, they can be to the jaw. If you grab your hand, they become a lot stronger. You create this leverage here, like a big bar, smashing. You have this one that comes up. See what I do with my elbow? I call it the chicken wing. I bring my chicken wing up and then down over the top, into the nose, into the eye socket, into the teeth, into the, the clavicle, break that thing for self-defense. But it comes up and drops straight down over the top. You can also do that first one, instead of putting your helmet on and driving it through his face, you can drive it up into his solar plexus, up into his throat, up under his chin, very powerful. Then you have lifting higher and then bringing it down on top. If you wanna be Ong Bak, Ong Bak was an actor, I can't don't remember, it was a Muay Thai movie. He jumps up, brings it down, popularized that kind of elbow strike. It's been around forever. Bring it up, drive it, straight down someone's on top of you get your hand up create distance catch your breath smash put it in his clavicle put it in his chin put it in the top of his chest for self-defense if he's behind you you catch him on the corner of your eye drive your whole body is now because of your step there's your foot taking a step driving it into his head his face his ribs Maybe he's much taller, or you're sitting, or you're on the ground. You turn your body and drive, hit anything you can. Hit him in the legs. But use this motion here, and then this hand up, straight down, behind you. He's behind you, you're always gonna get more power. Yeah, Doug says, nothing beats an elbow for self-defense. You get more power when you step into that attack. Even it's, if your step is this small, it doesn't have to be a lot. You just have to get your body in motion. Remember, there are three things that are going to knock somebody out, or break something, create stopping power for self-defense in any technique. Number one is extension. In this case, extending your arm, your elbow into his face, right? Going through a full range of motion. Number two is turning the shoulders and hips. Number three is anytime you can get your body in motion and a little step is all it takes. Down here, or here, or here, or up here, or uh, horizontal, or lifting and driving. Straight down like this. I want you to practice that. This is one, two, one, two. Do that for 30 seconds. Pull your stomach up and in. You're just putting your helmet on. And then, one, two. Get this close to the body. See, I'm touching my upper chest, turning your shoulders and hips. Never finish here, his face is there. You gotta go through it, right? Turning, turning, and then, down over the top, do this for 30 seconds. After that for 30 seconds, in, coming straight in. Remember, into the solar plexus, up under the chin, into the throat, just driving, driving. Right hand, left hand, and you don't have to have a bag to hit, you can hit your other hand. You wanna start to toughen that up, right? Coming through, coming through, pushing, pushing, and then bring this up and down over top, up, and down, up, down. Use your hand, go slow at first because it hurts. But get used to that, right? You're gonna deaden the nerves in there and build some power there. And then he's behind you, turning. You don't have anywhere to strike, step into it. Step into it. Get this turning motion hard and fast, hard and fast, and then finally, down, down. 30 seconds for every elbow strike, and then come back and put in the comment section, did you break a sweat at least? Did you feel your muscles grow stronger? Did you learn how to fight with elbows? You wanna learn how to end the fight in seconds, close with and destroy, how to fight with elbows for self-defense? That's what you practice. You just practice elbows over and over and over. Over and over, that's the key. A little bit every day. Uh, 30 seconds each, how long does that take? Like five minutes or less? Give yourself five minutes a day of practice with elbows, and you'll see. You'll learn how to end the fight in seconds, how to use elbows for self-defense. You guys have been awesome, Studer. Great suggestion. We'll do more of these. This is just the beginning, just a teaser, a taste of fighting with your elbows. You're gonna be great at it. I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you.